Now guys, most people that drink alcohol see it as a good, positive, beneficial thing that really enhances their lives and enhances society at large. Yet, at the same time, when these individuals then try to stop drinking it, they're met with a lot of resistance, a lot of temptation, and really, it's often a battle for these people. They see it as a good thing, they remove it from their life, and then they pretty much live the rest of their non-drinking days resisting and fighting temptation. Now, the funny thing is, is I class myself as a happy non-drinker. I'm, I'm happy about my decision to be a non-drinker. And really, that decision and this idea, it all came from two questions. There were two questions that I asked myself before I really started this journey that really made me question my path, question my beliefs, and put me on the, the trajectory that I'm on today of being a happy non-drinker now for almost three years. And, and really, these two questions changed my life forever. And since asking myself those questions, everything has changed. Like, everything. Not just from a non-drinking perspective, but my health, my relationships, my business. Everything has changed as a result of these two simple questions. And I know that they're going to be simple in nature because usually, you know, the best things in life are simple. That's usually where we're messing up. We're just not executing the basics. So I know these are going to sound basic, but if you ask yourself these questions and you actually apply yourself to seek the answers from within, then you're going to be amazed at the power of these questions. And, you know, the power of our questions dictate the quality of our life. If we ask ourselves, how do we get by? How do we pay the bills? That's probably what we're going to achieve in life, right? But at the same time, if we ask ourselves, you know, how am I going to reach my potential? How am I going to make a, a, an amazing impact in the world? How am I going to help other people? If you start asking richer questions, you're going to get richer answers, which change the course of your life. So questions are powerful. And the two questions that I'm going to share with you in this video have the power to change your life forever. And guys, just before we get into the video, if you want to get access to the brand new training showing you how to apply first principles thinking and how to get control of your drinking without AA willpower rehabs, click the link in the description. It's a brand new video that I just finished a few days ago, and I think you guys, it's just gonna blow you away. So if you're interested in controlling your drinking, you wanna get access to that training, click the link in the description. Now, the first question that I had to ask myself is what the hell is alcohol really doing for me? Now, during you know the 10 years of me drinking, I had a love-hate relationship with alcohol. There were some periods during my drinking times that you know I hated alcohol. I just hated it. It was the bane of my life. I just wanted to get rid of it. And it was just, it was causing destruction. It was causing pain. I was wasting money. I was getting into trouble. I was just behaving in a not great way. But at the same time, there were times in my life where I was drinking, but I was also having a good time. Like I went to a university in America. I was drinking when I was there, but I was also having a great time because I was in America. I was at university, right? Not that the alcohol was causing the good time, but at that, that point in my life, alcohol wasn't causing problems. I was enjoying life and I was drinking, which really leads me to this question is, what is alcohol actually doing for me? Right, if I can have good times and I'm drinking, but also have bad times when I'm drinking, then it starts to become apparent that is alcohol doing anything for me? And when I really reflect on my life, and I really reflect on the times that I was drinking versus when I wasn't drinking, what I find is that it was never the alcohol that caused those good times. What I mean by this is, you know, like for example, when I was in America, I was surrounded by great people. You know, it was just like a really good environment. It was very positive in America. I love America, you know. I, I just think it's a great place, great people, great energy. That was what caused the good time. Sure, I was drinking, but alcohol wasn't enhancing the occasion. There have been other periods in my life where I've been drinking and it's the same thing. If I, never, if I really start to reflect, I always see that it's the people and it's the things that I was doing that made the thing good, despite drinking or not. When I reflect on another level deeper, when I start to really uncover the pain that alcohol was causing in me, that's when I really start to see alcohol for what it is, right? Because then I start to see, well, there's this, there's this drug that when I drink it, sometimes I have a good time, sometimes it ruins my life. So therefore, if I'm having a good time without it anyway, and the drug is ruining my life, then what is alcohol doing for me? Well, the answer is absolutely nothing. The reason why is because it is ethanol, it is poison. Would you think that if you all of a sudden started drinking bleach, that the bleach somehow enhanced your life, right? You're drinking this bleach and you're going to bars and hanging around with some really interesting people and you're having a great time and you're also drinking bleach. What's gonna be the good part of the time, right? The bleach or the people that you're with? Of course, it's the people that you're with. And when you really go deeper onto this question of like, what is alcohol really doing for me? You will come to the same conclusion that I came to, I promise you. And sometimes it means that you've gotta let go of beliefs because I hear it time and time again, you know, I enjoy a drink. I like the taste. It helps me relax. Just the same stuff again and again and again that people come out with. When you boil it down to first principles, when you break things down to its fundamental level, when you see things for what it is on the surface, you see alcohol as a drug that does nothing for you. And I had to come to that conclusion 
do asking myself that question continually. And I asked myself that question for many years and it led me on the path that I'm on today of really understanding alcohol for what it is, really getting deep into the conditioning and the marketing and how it's portrayed in the world. And it was at that point when things kind of started clicking. I wasn't quite there yet, but it just kind of started like, it was like an onion, right? And every time that I asked myself that question and I drank, another layer was revealed. And then another layer was revealed until I got to a point where I am, where I am today. Which leads me to the second question, which is, how will I ever reach my potential if I continue drinking the way that I've been doing? Now, for me, that scares the life out of me, right? This, this idea of getting to, you know, 80, 90 years of age, looking back at my life and thinking, what a wasted potential, what a waste of a life. That fills me with dread. That fills me with fear. You know, I just couldn't imagine getting to that age, having family around me, you know, maybe very poorly, very sick, and I'm reflecting and I'm thinking, you know, I don't, I don't want to look back and go, fuck, man, I spent half of my life in bed hungover. You know, I spent half of my life at a bar drunk. I don't want to look back and see that. I want to look back and see, you know, great impact, great friends, great family, great times, happiness. I don't want to look back and see pain and destruction and upsetting the people around me. Come on. Does anybody want to see that? Do you want to see that? Of course not. Which is why I had to ask myself that question. How will I reach my potential if I keep drinking the way that I'm doing? And the answer is I would never. There was no way in hell that I could have the impact. I could have the influence and I could do the things that I wanted to do if I continued drinking alcohol. So that question really made me reflect and say to myself, you know, first is like, what did I really want out of life? And the second thing is, how does alcohol fit into that picture? Well, it doesn't fit into that picture because if I drink, life doesn't progress in that fast way. You know, when you're not drinking and you've got the clarity and you've got the energy, life generally progresses a lot faster. That means you might make more money. You might be healthier. You might get in better relationships. You might just have a better quality of life overall. And that happens when I'm sober. When I'm drinking, it isn't like that. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. It goes really far down. It goes really high up. It goes really far down. It's a roller coaster and there's no real progress. And really, I'm not connecting with the best version of myself. So if I want to go and have an impact, if I want to have influence, if I want to reach any kind of potential, alcohol had to get out of that equation. So I really urge you to ask yourself these questions. What is alcohol seriously doing for you? And how are you going to reach your potential? How are you going to get to the end of your life? Reflect and say, I did it all. I lived on my edge. You know, I really push things to the limits. And to you, maybe that's not important. You know, maybe a mediocre life is okay for you. Well, it ain't okay for me and it shouldn't be okay for you either. Really, we're all put onto this world to do great things, right? We're all here because we've got stories and we can all make an impact. And I really want you to reflect and just ask yourself, is alcohol going to help you get to that level? The answer is probably not. And guys, if you do want my help stopping drinking without AA, without willpower, without rehabs, you want to do it in an optimistic, positive way, then make sure to click the link in the description. There'll be a short video to watch, then you'll be able to book a call. We can see if the Sober Clear program could be a good fit for you. Most of the people in this program, they're entrepreneurs and they're professionals because it's a logical program that really revolves around logic instead of guilt and shame. So click the link in the description if you want more details on that and have a great day.